hello, hello, and welcome to yet another live detailing session here at the Rag Company. Now, you're joining us out in a studio where it's a very balmy 87 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and I am here with Anthony. We've hey, got Dane. a car behind us. It's the Jag, as we all know, and uh, it's going to be our subject today. It's going to be what we're drying, and uh, we're going to be using a whole variety, a whole slew of different drying towels for that purpose. Anthony, explain a little more what we're doing today. All right, so a lot of people liked our kind of scientific approach, our, our, our non-scientific but kind of scientific approach uh, to foaming last week where we did a live foam session where unfortunately Dane was foamed and only Dane was foamed. <laughs> There was only video footage of Dane getting foamed and literally nobody else, right? I'm remembering it a little differently. Yeah, I think it, I think it happened a little bit differently too. So yes, me and Dane both got foamed after our foam comparison, but a lot of people liked just kind of seeing the comparison of different foams and obviously the really fun outcome. So we wanted to do another live this week doing another comparison uh, this form in a, in the drying towel sense and so we're basically going to be comparing some of our different drying towels that we have here at the rag company and seeing what's most absorbent in our lineup now this is meant to be fun it's meant to be informative we're kind of just really hanging out as we're drying this vehicle off uh, time and time and time again so Dane's going to be filtering comments, answering questions, kind of shooting them over to me. Uh, but we have several towels that we're going to be comparing. Uh, so Dane, what are those towels in front of you? Okay, so I've got pretty wide variety. I think we've got a good selection. People may be familiar with some or all of these, but just in case you're not, let's go ahead and go through them. So starting over here, I have an old standby. You know, this is actually more popular than you believe the car wash towel. Now, anybody who's not familiar can go and check out the links in the description below this live stream in the box there. We have links to all these. So you can actually look at them and kind of see eh, what you're getting. But basically, the car wash towel is kind of where we start. That's kind of the baseline. As far as towels go, it's closer to like an all-purpose style Terry towel. But people like them because they're compact. You can fold them up, throw them into a bag. It's an easy thing to take with you as you go. Moving along here, we've got the Dry Mere River. That's a waffle weave. Followed yeah. by a even larger waffle weave, which is appropriately named the big one. The big one. Yeah. Then we've got the twist and shout, mm -hmm. which is known for its purple color and that silver border on there, it's which a, a lot of people eater. like. Yeah, the purple people eater. Well, it's more of a water eater. Yeah, but. something like that. All right, and then right next to that is the most colossal drying yeah. towel we've ever created. You want to tell people about that? Yeah. So that's the this is the 1500 right here. I'm not going to unravel it just yet. I'll wait till. <laughs> We're actually going to dry something. Yeah. Uh, but the 1500 here, and then uh, the liquidator behind that here in the aqua color. Next to that, we have the platinum pluffle, and we have the gauntlet, the infamous gauntlet, gauntlet and then we have uh, the double twistress. And so we're probably going to realistically, sorry, I, I think I was looking over there. Uh, okay, so we're, here. we're most <laughs> likely going to be going from least absorbent to most absorbent. I think that would probably make the most sense, right? To have a, a decent amount of buildup. But uh, do you have any theories, Dane? Like we've we've never really done a comparison like this live. No, this so, is actually a first. Like we could have done so, a video, but we decided to do a live stream yeah. instead because people like live, there's danger. There is danger. Things might not work the way you expect them to. And Maybe I will not. say, speaking of things not working the way you expect them to, it's very hot in this building and it's only gonna get warmer as yeah. we go up. So it may affect some of the stuff we're doing here, but we're going to do might, it anyway because it that yeah. is just how we roll. Yeah. So uh, in terms of kind of predictions, obviously the least absorbent is going to be the 16 by 27 car wash towel, just That's because fair. it's a Terry. Um, it, it's it's got a shorter nap to it. I don't think it's going to. just I don't think it, it physically can absorb th I, all that much. It, it reaches its limit before a lot of these others. However, I will say, bang for buck, like it's a simple yeah. towel. There's a reason these are so popular, and it's yeah. not just because they're inexpensive. Now, the driving a river, right? The DMR, as some people call it, mm -hmm. has been around for many, many years, right? And this was actually at one time one of our only drying towels that we yeah. had. And so uh, this was the first drying towel I ever purchased from the rag company when I was a customer uh, and not an employee. How'd you and like it? I, so I loved it, mainly <laughs> for the feel, because the waffle feel on really slick paint is just amazing. It feels really nice uh, when you have, you know, that, that low surface tension. Um, it, it's just, it creates a really good feel. So the Dry Mirror River, it feels amazing. We love the tight waffle structure of it, but I have a feeling that that's probably going to come right behind the 16 by 27 car wash in terms of absorbency, mainly think, because I of the size, gonna perform, right? 
better than that. For I sure, think it'll, no, I know I'm saying it's going to come behind yeah, it in the next but in line. But in the roster. Sure. In the roster. And then following that, I think it probably will be the big one drying towel. Uh, and then that's where it gets tough because the <laughs> twist and shout and the double twistress, right? Twist and shout is much yeah. larger than the double twistress. More but the surface twistress, area on the twist and shout just yeah. because it's a physically larger towel. However, however, yeah, this guy's more dense. It's more dense. And if I remember, I mean, if, if a lot of people remember right, uh, back in the day we did a uh, towel comparison of these two where I had to dry a Ford Raptor, right? Yeah. And both in towels real time. were able to dry Uncut. a Ford <laughs> Raptor, uh, which was kind of amazing. I, did, I had to wring them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were pretty wet by the time I was done. But, oh, yeah. uh, I mean, it worked. So um, these I'm not really too sure of. I mean, we'll see kind of what comes out on top. However, the Pluffle will most likely fall right behind Ah, probably the Dry Me a River or the big one. Sure, the, the Pluffle has more in common with the Waffle Weaves yeah. than it does not. So yeah. the thing about the Pluffle is the whole reason it was created was essentially we wanted to have the benefits of a Waffle Weave, mm -hmm. which is having that really dense but compact kind of design that you can yeah. fold easily, take it with you. But we wanted to have it be as safe as possible for the absolute most delicate finishes of any car on earth. I mean, yeah. these have been used on irreplaceable classics, cars that one of one type stuff. The the pluffles yeah. are really there because you want the most gentle drying towel for the job. And it, it, the it trade is off of having these kind of fuzzy, you know, kind of circular knit, you know, weave on there is you may get a little bit of, you know, little trails, little something left behind because you're yeah, allowing a little more space lips. between the base of the towel and the surface you're working on. And that's by design. But yeah you're not gonna get that super satisfying, really clean first pass every time with a pluffle. And I just wanna say that up front because I think some people may think, oh, all the best drying towels do that. Yeah. But there's a reason you choose the pluffle and it's not for that. You wanna dry, yeah. but you wanna Correct. do it in the most delicate way possible. That's why the pluffle exists. Yeah. So you gotta set the right expectations. Yeah. So uh, the pluffle, in my opinion, um, is our safest drying mm -hmm. towel. Um, yeah. Out of all of our, I mean, all of our drying <coughs> towels are absolutely safe. Yeah. But this is the one where <laughs> that's for the if, really paranoid. If people, somebody says, "Hey, I say. got I got black Honda paint that is so soft, like it, you know, it scratches and swirls by looking at it," I'm going to tell them to get a pluffle, as I feel like that's going to be the best uh, the, the best towel for them. So, yeah. uh, moving on from there, uh, we do have the liquidator here. So the liquidator. I mean, between the gauntlet and the liquidator, this could be a toss up. I have no idea. Um, the liquidator is more affordable than the gauntlet, but the gauntlet is much more premium. It uses, yeah. um, it uses. I mean, really, I mean, well, there's a this, lot of this patented design that we in have the here. Um, yeah. it, it has a lot going, more, a lot more going for it, and there's a little bit more. It's, I don't it has know. like microfiber squeegees designed into yeah. the track side. It's it's a crazy it's a, design. It's more technical than the yeah. liquidator is, but the twist loop never seems to fail in terms of no. how much absorption the twist loop's got. Love. The liquidator. Um, it's simple but effective. It's it's like a shotgun approach. But um, I don't think anything will really compare to the no. fifteen hundred. The fifteen hundred is just the liquidator on steroids. So I mean, if people are unfamiliar, what, reason why we call it the fifteen hundred, <coughs> uh, it's fifteen hundred GSM. I mean, it, it's is this is a our technically our heaviest drying towel we've ever made, but also technically our most absorbent. Now, when it comes to drying towels and absorbencies, a lot of people get GSM confused with how absorbent a towel can be. Yeah. The GSM doesn't necessarily have to do with the absorbency. It plays a factor into it, but it's not everything. Right. Um, so when you see a towel that has a thousand GSM and you go, that's got to be the best towel or a softer towel or a more plush towel or a more absorbent towel. Not necessarily. No, not necessarily, right? Because Absorbency really comes from the blend itself, right? Most of our towels, like most of the towels in the rag companies to line up are gonna be a 70-30 blend. 70-30 is gonna be the most absorbent bang for your buck in terms of having the perfect mix of polyester and polyamide. And so once you get past that 70-30, that's when you start jumping into maybe like a 60-40, but that's when the polyamide becomes too costly to make that towel um, as efficient. And it kind of starts getting right. to that point where it doesn't, it's not making that much of a difference over 30, uh, the 70-30 blend. So 7030 is the premium gold highest standard that you can get um, really within detailing uh, for what it needs to do. So the combination of the blend of microfiber along with potentially the GSM but also the weave type makes a huge difference in terms of how absorbent a towel can be. That and of course the size. And so um, we have, uh, yeah, we have a lot of different towels 
and a lot of our <laughs> towels can absorb things. We have over 150 different tiles, styles of towels, and we've experimented with um, you know at least 10 times that you yeah. know over yeah. the years. And so uh, we know what's absorbent, we know it works best, and um, we just want you to know that 70/30 blend is a big takeaway. If it's a 70/30 Heck yeah, you know, it's probably going to be pretty absorbent for what you're getting. Um, size and weave are going to be the biggest thing, but don't t focus too much on GSM because GSM is the density, it is the weight of the towel. But when things are dense and things are heavy, um, once they get wet, they might become heavier. So the 1500, once this thing is saturated, it might become a heavy towel to lug around. Some people don't care, but some people do. GSM is kind of like horsepower in a car. Yeah. It's not everything. It's an impressive number sometimes, yeah. but what you feel about is how the you, torque. It's right? all about how, yeah, it's so. all about how you use it, right? And um, <laughs> yeah. so anyways, so we're gonna get started with this soon. We don't wanna bore you guys to death. No, Again, no, no, it is no, we'll gonna be a hot that. day today here at the Rag Company here in Boise, Idaho. And yeah, so right. uh, we wanna get this done before we are dripping in sweat. So yeah. what we want you guys to do is start rolling in those questions on drying towels while I begin with the demonstration, uh, the plan for this. And you guys can tell me if I'm on the right track here. I think we're gonna do the hood. I think that's where we're gonna have the most concentrated area of water. I think that that's where we're gonna be able to visually see everything. And we're gonna go through towel by towel, knocking out the hood, talking about how saturated it is, taking a look at the towel both sides. Um, this car is coated mm -hmm. technically with a quick, um, it's a, I can't it's, really it's, say what it's it is. It's not necessarily, uh, this, is this, a, is, this is one of those upcoming things we can't talk about, but it is, it is uh, covered thing. in a protective product yeah. that uh, does allow for some beating, some sheeting. Yeah, about, some, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's a, it's a faster applied <laughs> coating. But anyway, yeah. um, so we're going to be spraying this down so the car does have a coating on it of some sort. Uh, it has protection on it. But I think the hood's going to be a great place to where we're going to be able to see the difference. And so what I'm going to do is kind of make this a little bit more methodical in which I will be folding the towel and I am going to be making passes as it's folded, showing you guys how much water I'm picking up each time and then showing you my dry sides as I clean up the rest of the hood. Um, it, that's a lot better than me scrunching the towel sure. yeah. and just being like, well, I did well, it, right? You know, some people want a little more scientific scientific approach, yeah. right? So, so we'll um, I'm going to get, get the pressure washer pulled up, but Dean, if you want to start knocking yeah, out some of these comments. Absolutely. There's actually quite a few comments here, oh, so cool. I'll start, uh, I'll go through. A lot of people just saying hi, some questions about where's Levi. Levi's in the building. He just unfortunately has a meeting later today uh, during this stream, so we couldn't have Mog because he would have to bounce off almost right away. He is an important guy, Dane. But uh, yeah, he's back there. He's waving. <laughs> he's just going to be gone out of the room before too long. So, all right. Moving along, I've got Ken Jeeper. Ken Jeeper says, Tool, <laughs> two towel method slash fan here. A couple TRC CW towels are better. The 365 spa towels, don't see the point in big bulky towels. Now there's an interesting approach because yeah. there are people out there who don't like having a giant drying towel. They want to have something a little more sleek, a little more sporty. Yeah. Built yeah. more like a Lotus, less like a, you know, Bugatti Veyron. So, so I'm going to jump into yeah. this. I promise you, I'm not going to bore you guys <laughs> death with all the talking. Um, I will say towels that I have in my lineup, if I'm, if I'm 100% honest and transparent with you guys, uh, this is what I have um, that I use on a, on a weekly basis um, at my house itself. I do have a couple of dry me rivers. I, I'm not typically using them specifically for um, paint drying. I'm using them on my glass. So I have a couple of these towels for when I'm cleaning up excess water on my glass or I'm wanting to uh, use a glass cleaner as a drying aid on the glass that I'm drying. Uh, so I'll use like the DMR for something like that. Um, I used to love it for paint, but now I really like it for glass. I do have gauntlets. Um, my gauntlets, I run the smaller size 20 by 24. I don't run the full, uh, the full big size just because I feel like it gets to be a little bit too much to store in my bins. Um, I have some double twistress that I used to love and uh, I've sealed them up pretty bad with, with, uh, with bead makers so I need to take some rags to riches and do a couple dunks in there. Uh, but really what I'm using the most is um, liquidator. Liquidator for, liquidator for all my fast drying uh, and then the pluffle for all my really methodical stuff where I want to make sure that my paint is, you know, perfect and, you know, swirl and scratch free. Um, it's just something that, you know, I, I, I use this on the, on my, on my crazy car. Yeah. On the car I'm most meticulous about and it's just a mental thing. That's why I use I get it. it. Uh, and then the 1500, I have one mm -hmm. just for the truck. 
Well, your truck is it's, a 1500. It's a Ram 1500, I know. so it's kind of appropriate. I know. I have the other just, side purpose of the name was the fact that it could well, easily dry. It's, I tried try drawing one of my smaller cars <laughs> with it. Truck. It's just a lot of towel, man. Yeah. And like, it's if that flops over, I don't want it to fall on the ground. No. The truck's perfect because I have all that, you know, all that height. So. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. Right. Well, Dean's going to start rinsing. answering comments. I'm loading up these comments. We'll be good to go. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to rinse the hood. Seabass is going to come over here. Uh, we are going to rinse the entire hood of this, right? And I am going to kind of count the hood as being, the hood is technically into the fender here. I'm going to try to dry it all if I can, right, with one towel uh, and then show you how wet this has gotten. I'm going to try to wring it out, attempt to wring it out, and see what kind of water gets released. So uh, first up here, 16 by 27 car wash towel, an all-purpose towel that can kind of do it all, anything from interior to exterior. Um, one of our best sellers, and that is in lime green. And so uh, in terms of cost, you can get into a case of those for, I'm going to say like 150 bucks. You can get a whole case, something like that. Um, you have to check the ridecompany.com. I normally have these priced off the top of my head, but um, it is in a very affordable towel. I mean, basically case quantities, you're, you can get into that towel a little over a, a bucket towel, which is an insanely good deal. And if you're part of the business program um, or the dealer program, that's amazing as well. Um, so yeah, case quantities on it, it's amazing. Or you can buy it in a 50 pack if you, um, if you really like it and you want to use it for more things. So here we go, do a quick test. Pressure washer is working. Flip this thing right here. Get that to where it's slightly more upright. Nope. What the heck is today not my day? Oh, there we go. All right, so as you can see, that protection is holding up beautifully. When was that applied? Uh, it was applied a month ago, a month and a half okay. ago. What's uh, the product's lifespan? Do we know that this much? This is a year. Can we say that much? <laughs> wow, that looks great. Holy smokes. Does I think we could say how long this particular one lasts. Yeah, Levi will be very happy to see that. Oh, that looks that amazing. That looks good. Well, I'm just gonna try to get a decent amount of water on here. So, That's considering the vehicle has somewhere between a sealant and a coating on it, some protective yeah. item that's stronger than a wax. Yeah. We're going to just dry it straight, right? No uh, drying aids, nothing like that. Because I think that's probably a fair test here. Or would you like no, to use I'm not a drying gonna, aid? No, so we're not going to use a drying aid, mainly for the fact that a drying aid does help. Yeah, it does. I think a drying aid does improve a towel, let's just say, anywhere from 10 to 20% in terms yeah. of absorbency. Well, and that's why I wanted to bring it up because there's people who are watching right now who are going to be like, oh, I don't use drying aids. Yeah. I just go straight on no, with the towel. No, we're not going to so use a drying aid. We're trying aid. to be representative of what the towels can yeah. do. I would just say expect help. a drying aid to add roughly 10 to 20% more efficiency in drying okay. just because uh, getting the towel loaded up with product actually helps in the drying process, sure. surprisingly. Yeah. Uh, but we're just going to go into a dry towel. And uh, keep in mind, we didn't wash these towels beforehand. Uh, these are straight out of the box. Yeah, uh, we do recommend washing all towels beforehand. Always wash your we towels before to, you do it. Don't listen to. <laughs> we just wanted to show you guys what you're getting, man. And yeah. so, but we do recommend washing with rags to riches straight out of the box. And so, uh, anyway, 16 by 27 car wash towel. Here we go. Green. This is the size of it. So it's about Anthony's. One, it's one Anthony torso. One Anthony torso. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself and hold it to you, you can pretend that we're hugging, <laughs> and it can. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. I guess it's an Anthony size bib. Dane, what is it for you? Uh, you know, it's probably a lap belt. <laughs> yeah, is it? Okay. All right, I'm going to flip it over here, and uh, we're going to get started. So I'm going to go for the, I'm going to do the multiple fold, right? Sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. And, or actually, you know, you know what? I'll do a hot dog. We'll do a hot dog and pretend that okay. this is a true drying towel. I'm going to start right here in the middle sea bass. I'm going to work my way down, and we're going to see what kind of absorbency we get. So coming through. So far, the tr snail trail in the back, can we see how we look in there? We're looking pretty dang good. Wow, all right. If I say so myself, and yeah. uh, oh, minor residual. we are all the way down, and this is what I'm looking at so far. Not bad. So I'm gonna take that rest of that towel, and I'm gonna continue drying here. Now, because it is a Terry style weave, right, it does have a little more grab and drag than um, 
perhaps like a twist loop would have. But so far, so far so good. I am getting pretty wet now. Um, well, I'm not getting wet. I, I mean, the towel's getting pretty wet. Feel hey, that, Seabass. If you're excited, you're excited, right? So, yeah. so it's getting, it's getting pretty loaded at this point. Like that was only half the hood. I think that realistically, I could do all the hood, the fender, all of that. I think I could get away with it, and I would be fine. Now I got a relevant question for Joe. But Jody here we go here. on the headlight here. This is, this will show you a better look at the headlight. Wiping, you can still see residual water. Now this towel, 80-20 blend, not yeah. a 70-30, it's 80-20. Correct. This yeah. was never meant this to be a drying towel. This is an inexpensive starter, do-it-all, inexpensive dry solution. Towel. Will those streaks go away? Yeah, they will. Let me go It'll ahead dissipate. and attempt But I want to take a look at Jody's question here, asking, does the green towel have a similar soft nap to the old Everest towels, or is it more like the pearl towels? I can't tell from the video. Now, it's more like out, the Edgeless 365. It's like an all-purpose Terry. Yeah. The Edgeless Edge, 365, 365 is an all-purpose Terry. So, so at this point in time, I'm about like, honestly, I'm yeah. about like 75% like saturated with the towel. So mm -hmm. we're going to try to drag dry here. At Flip this point, it. you may start to notice more streaks because the towel is becoming more saturated. I am now streaking here. Yeah. Right? The streaking here looks a little bit different than my college days, but you know what? <laughs> hey. <laughs> to each their own. Dane, you knew I had to make at least a couple jokes on this feed. It's okay. You were already talking about it being too wet. So. Yeah. So right. <laughs> um, this right here. Here we go. Look at sea bass. You can see this is where now I am pushing water around finally. Now, for what it's worth, this is a great compound towel. It's a great polished towel. Yeah. It's great at a lot of those things because you get all that extra towel, you know, it's a 16 by 27. Yeah, it's not just about you get drying. More bang this for is your the buck, only one that's not but like dedicated. I will say that I'm, I mean, headlights are going to probably continually streak there. Yeah. Well, but, and worst case scenario, even if you smear a little bit at this point due to the towel being saturated, it's going to dissipate depending on the temperature. Like in here, I can see that stuff going away fairly quickly. Yeah. So what I would really need is that if I were to use these as drying towels. Yeah. You're going to need a few of them. I'd probably have yeah. five or six of them. But they're but inexpensive, so it doesn't si hurt to do Five that. or six of these, though, again, if you buy it in a wholesale case, it's like five or six bucks. Yeah, and it's so, not bad. Um, it would do the job. If I took it, if I, it, it what, these would be nice to have would be... If you took your car through a touchless car wash, or if you were a fan of going to a, like a spray and pay, yeah, just have like a bag of these in your car, right? Mm -hmm. And that way you go do your wash, go do everything you need to do, and then you have some freshies of this. That may be more manageable. You just fill up a, a drying hefty towel. bag with a well, bunch of. <laughs> it might be more manageable than a drying towel because you could also use these for interior as well, right? right? Yeah. So you're, you're not just stuck with it's one. It's just a job towel for. where it's like, hey, throw it in the car, yeah. use it for whatever I need. And if somebody spills in the car, or you have a baby in the car, it spills something, you go, well, this was this towel was a little over a buck a towel. I keep so. one of those in the glove box, but I also for for cars that have back seats, there's usually like a little pocket behind the front seats. Yeah. You could totally store and, one. And uh, all right, so two. sea bass. Here's, uh, Dane, can, can we get a wetness test here? Ooh, uh, wet can test. you give me like a, a wetness percentage? Uh, let's pinch it. Oh, that's saturated. I mean, I was going to say, short of this actually dripping, I would say this is a good 80, 85% saturated. I think it's got a little more in it, but yeah. it's, it's close. Okay, yeah. so 85% wetness mm -hmm. from Dane here yeah. on the 16 The only way it's going to get to that max is if you literally have it in a bucket and it's just dripping. But it's, it will drip if you squeeze it. I'm sure of that. Ah, see? Look at that. Yep, that's uh, you know what though, I am draining all that water out of this towel. This is an easy towel to wring out, which is <coughs> probably actually the easiest out of what we're oh, yeah. doing here. Well, that's what happens when you have an extremely short pile. Which I will say, you notice when you first started, when the towel was dry, you were going on the surface there, it was picking up a lot, and you can attribute a lot of that to the fact that the pile on this towel is not particularly long. Yeah. So, so it's trapping those beads pretty quickly. What do you think? Now that I've wrung it out, though, that got a bit, got, I think I could go for more. Yeah, yeah. If you were 75 or 80 or 85 yeah. before, I would say now we're above half. We're probably like around the 60 point, but yeah. it's got a lot of room left. I feel like a few more squeezes and you would have it at a point where you could go like another hood size space and oh. it would be pushing it, but you'd be there. All right. So that is the 
16 by 27 car wash. We'll set that over here. Yeah. What kind of qu any more questions regarding oh, yeah. that? No, towel? there's been tons of questions. I just wanted to bring them in as they flow. Cool. But uh, yeah, no, it was mostly to do with the material. Joey, you bring up an interesting question here asking how many eagles to dry the hood. Now, we don't have any eagles with us, and we did used to have a drying yeah. towel that was made from the same material as the eagle called the avalanche. However, when it came to the eagles, you'll notice the pile on those, very long. Like that's I'm that's guessing. part of the design of the towel. It's great for certain kinds of yeah. product removal, leveling, that kind of stuff. But when you're drying, it's very delicate in the way that the pluffle is delicate. But the trade-off is you're leaving a lot of streaks because those fingers, just the, the fluff, is leaving a lot of gaps behind. And you're essentially letting that water just sit in like those little canyons. Yep and you just move along. So it's not really the yeah. best for a drying towel material other than it makes you feel like you're not hurting the car. You're probably at two to three eagles probably for hood, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it depends on how saturated You're gonna it is. be smeary. They're not, they are 500 GSM, they're 70-30 blend, but yeah. that style of towel was never meant to be a massively absorbent towel. It was meant to be a, that's the wrong one, Glenn, that's a 450. That's an Eagle 450, uh, It's however. okay, she tried. <laughs> we have people behind the screen trying for yeah. you guys out there. Uh, but we won't, we won't, we don't have to do that test. Right. We will move on to the Dry Me River. Maybe at the very end. Um, so we do have, uh, uh, Tony saying, uh, next time, a fun test would be weighing the towel before to see the weight uh, in water uh, they hold. We thought about that, but mm -hmm. again, we don't want to get too scientific about it. We want to have fun with it. We, uh, it's a good idea. It's well, just there's other channels for the scientific, we, we, hyper yeah. specific stuff. We, we try and do a more real world, regular approach. How would we be approached in your driveway? Yeah. So that's or why we're basing. We're doing a wetness percentage test based on what. Yeah, that's Dane, totally just off Dane, the top uh, of the dome. That doesn't really mean anything other than that's how I would rate it. Oh, it's definitely off the top but of the who dome. Knows, Dane. Like my system may be yeah. different than yours, so yeah. it's not really a fair comparison. If All I'm right. being straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this hood again. We're going to get ready for the Drymere River, right? So I don't know if we're going to be forming any rivers today on this Jaguar, right, but we definitely we might be shedding a tear or two right after this test is done. So, God, that looks beautiful. What a good looking protection product. Whoa, hey, Jamie, what are you doing? Don't do that. <laughs> What? 250 likes Dane gets towel whipped by each dry towel. <laughs> I will do it. I will do it, Jamie. Oh, no, don't Make it happen. Him. Oh, Make, I'll guys. whip him. All right, so That's a I problem. think that this is a good amount of water on the hood here. <laughs> What's that? 350? 350, I'll towel whip Dane. Yeah, if it get, if the, I doubt it's going to get to 350. If it gets to 350, I'll towel whip Dane. And I'll let somebody else towel whip me at 350. Oh, no. No, no, 300 if we're doing the two. 50 difference. 350. Max. I said 350. No, no, 300. 300, Dane? It's like, if 250 gets me, 300 yeah, gets you. I don't want because Gabe that, to whip me because he's got a vendetta against me today because I well, made him matter. Oh, earlier. and I'm, uh, I'm safe. <laughs> Nobody's safe in this Nobody's building. Safe. Help us. Okay. Help us. <laughs> Please. We need help. My goodness. Um, all right, so here we go. I got a lot of people just cheering for their favorite towels, but now we're on to the Dry Me River. 20 by 40 Dry Me River, 70-30 blend with the TRC embossment on here on the towel. It's one of my favorite features of the Dry Me River. I think it looks absolutely awesome. It's how you know you have a right company towel when you have that embossment. So uh, this towel was the first drying towel. It didn't have, a, didn't have a suede edge on it when I first bought the Dry Me River. Dry Me River actually an overlock stitch when I bought it because that's how old school I am. I love the rag company even when they were in a garage. So taking the towel here and I'm gonna I'm gonna fold this up. I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do what hamburger. Well I'll leave it in hot dog. What do you guys think? Hot dog or hamburger? What do you think? Levi you're more of a hot dog or hamburger I'm guy? Down, I'm always down for them glizzies. He, so Levi loves the glizzies. <laughs> I'm thinking the thing is is we all want slop dogs around here for lunch. <laughs> We're gonna make it happen. I'm gonna do hamburger <laughs> on this one. It's a little bit more manageable. Here in my Brooks running uh, Ghost 14s. I got a hole in them. I need to upgrade, but I'll do that here eventually. Okay, so taking the Drive Me River. I'm gonna before I start wiping. Are you ready, Dane? Oh yeah, bring it on. Okay. Prepare yourself for the wetness. The oh science. What's well, the that? point is we're getting rid of the wetness. This is antithetical Ooh, to wetness. This is looking pretty good looking pretty good and it's feeling nice as well 
So in terms of feel, yeah, this is, it's... So a waffle it's, really does well on a protected surface. Oh yeah, it's not even comparable. The the the, the car wash had a lot more grab, right? Well, because yeah, because it's, it's got that that pile. But I mean, to it. this is like this, right down on the surface. This is making glenn. life easy. So this is just normal towel drying. It's like those through. furniture sliders on a hardwood floor. You just slip those guys under the legs of a table and you. Phew. So there's the overall <laughs> saturation I have so far. Take a look at that, and that's <clears> on half the hood. Taking the other side here, and let's do a headlight test. Headlights are cleaning up a lot nicer than the car wash was. I mean, little to no water left behind. Knock out the side of the fender here. This is where a waffle weave really shines. This is, yeah. It's, the thing is, waffle is always gonna be one of the most consistent microfiber dry towels out there. And deceivingly there. absorbent. It's consistently, it's, it's always gonna do the job, and they're durable. So. In yes. terms of durability, I would argue to say that a, this style of waffle weave here, the Drive Me River, is more durable than a twist loop for the fact that the fibers don't really catch on anything. You're never going to really have strand fibers that are kind of laying around. Um, more durable. It's probably going to last you for forever. I have a Drive Me River from 2000. 14 or whatever the heck it There's is. There's another unsung benefit of these things. Yeah. Um, it's the fact that they're so compact, they're really portable. So if you want yeah. to store them somewhere, it's not like they're going to just balloon up whatever you put them in. Yep. It's kind of like the car wash towel. It takes up more space than that, but a lot less than some of these other bigger, puffier, dry towels. So this is what I'm looking at right here. Not quite a bed sheet of... No, you're probably at the 40 to 50% saturated mark there. There's a lot of un... There's a lot of dry surface area there. Like, uh, it's, like I said, not. It's, it's like, like a, a stick figure doing the splits over here, but he has no head. So bed it's a sheet concerning. on a hot summer, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, we're gonna take this and do a drag dry method with what's you know with it, it looks more wet than it really is. It honestly, I could do the whole car with how this feels so far. So here we go. Pool of water there. Can we get that shot? And move that comment. Coming down. Bringing that in. Ooh, I can start to see those thirst pockets trap a lot of that liquid. This is looking pretty good, Dane. Mm hmm. This is looking scientific. <laughs> and bam, that is uh, pretty much. That's what a waffle weave does. That's pretty streak free. That's pretty good. Uh, feeling the towel now, it does feel, does feel substantially wetter. Mm hmm. Um, we'll have to have Dane put his fingers it's on do the wetness test. And has then, had his waffle weave since 2011. Really, dude? I'm no, they're no, it's, they're they insane. Are durable. They are insane with how durable these towels are. They they. So can we get a dryness it's 11 test? Eleven years. Can you put your hands on that, Dane? All right. I want you to feel. Tell me in terms of what you think the hood okay. feels like. Dry. Oh, there's. There's no moisture there. There's no moisture. You're leaving it's, your cool, it's cool Dana, to the touch because pizza, it was wet you're previously. You're leaving your greasy fingerprints all over my nice... Using the back of my hand. What does that say? <laughs> <laughs> Dane, was, uh, Dane was ape walking through a field of, uh, you know, delicious pizza. No, so, sorry. I was using a little uh, lotion there. Oh. You know, just uh, old skin was getting dry. It so, is. Hey. Yeah. So here's what we're looking at right here. So we went from a summertime bed sheet to a good time. <laughs> so, flip that around. I don't know. It's you're you're definitely creeping up on yeah. uh, eighty to ninety percent now. So um, we're gonna try the ring out test. I really don't know. This is uh, this is the second easiest towel in the lineup to probably ring it out. But the problem is, is that the waffle. <laughs> oh, it's so dense that you really have to. Yeah, you'd think it'd be easier, but actually the waffle being as dense that it is, it, it's kind of like uh, dude. Yeah, I'm like blood out of a turnip. <laughs> yeah, it is. <sighs> Wish I had my my 2015 <laughs> muscles. Uh, yeah, as I say, <laughs> Mr. Muscles here. Uh, uh, oh, Jimmy, can I can't even bench 225. I'll do 220. <laughs> I'll put you over my head right now. 225. Get out of here with those those sissy numbers. Now, uh, Ken Jeeper keeps coming okay. back to this point, really laying at home that he prefers smaller towels. He doesn't like big drying towels. Yeah. He wants just a couple of smaller towels. One gets wet, wring it out as necessary, second to buff dry, no need for a bunch of them. So I can see that approach, Ken. If that um, works for you, then absolutely. Sorry, I forgot. But if you're I, just working on a Jeep, I it's a little I didn't have you different. do the wetness test. 
pretend that was honestly I didn't remove that much water from it. So no, what are you it's, saying? It, in fairness, it still feels pretty damp. It's not like it's sopping wet, but it is. So it is very. Damp. I need a percentage based on how wet that is, and also what it's still capable of doing. I think you could probably get the roof with this, and you could probably get more of the small areas like that bumper crash guard there, the mirrors. Perfectly headlights. dry or kind of like kind no, of No, I think you could get them perfectly dry because yeah. even if you leave a little trail, it's gone within a matter of seconds. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. No, I, I think you could still do a lot with this. Okay. So what, do you, what, do you, what percentage? What are you going to give it? I mean, I'm going to say this is probably, once again, 85, 90% saturated. So At that's, this point right now? No, when you first handed it to me. But now, okay. now I think you brought it back. You're in the 70s now, I think. Okay, so you're going to also it feels say heavier than it should if it were dry, but okay. it's it's not bad. Okay, I think right. you got a lot of room to play. Unscientific approach yeah. to this. Yeah, once again, these numbers are purely our own belief system. So. All right, let's get this <laughs> thing wet again. We're going to move on to the big one here. Any, any questions or comments, concerns that I need to address before we jump oh, into Oh, there's it? been lots of comments, but uh, let's take a look. What is it? 500 likes? No, it's just somebody know we put that on there. What do we have? On, what do we have on camera? What do we have on the on the comments there, Dane? Oh, it's just a lot of people putting out their favorite towels. Kim here, for example, okay. talking about her favorite is the Liquidator, followed close by the Gauntlet. Yeah, definitely understand the fans there. And uh, oh, of course, G Davis here to pop in with a little bit of his trademark humor. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> G Davis, I agree. Anthony's metaphors are sometimes a little concerning. Uh, concerning, yeah, slightly. Now, okay, now this is another thing too, though. So I've got Nico here saying, it would have taken a 50-50 engine hood with and without protection to seal the real absorption power. So we said we weren't going to get super scientific about it. We're being realistic about this. This car has protection on it. It's not a full-blown coating in the traditional sense, but it's kind of like a longer-lasting, short-term product. Yeah. So it's like right in there. But I would say this is very representative of like, a well cared for customer car in a lot of shops. If somebody mm -hmm. who's into detailing probably takes care of their car, it's going to be around this level. This car well, is not perfect, but it's it's around the that other level. argument. I would almost argue it, that a and we're car, not using drying aids. A car, That's another big a car thing. with protection may beat up and hold more water yeah. than a car that's sheeted the water without protection, but it all depends, right? Mm -hmm. Certain cars tend to hold onto water really bad, especially like cars that just have- Just the shape know, of it, it can just kinda, really change. It yeah. might sheet it, and it might just kind of pull up on the top, and, uh, and that could hold a lot of water, but also beads, when everything is beaded up, is also a ton of water. Yeah. So I would say it's, it's a total dependent thing on yeah. the situation, uh, but more often than not, a car that has protection that's beating up all that liquid is typically going to have more liquid on it than a car that, that would sheet, that has no protection that yeah. would sheet a lot of that off. I would argue this is actually very representative of what a lot of people will run into. Yeah, especially our customers. And the I size think, of so. the car, you got to remember, Jaguar F Type, while it is like not the size of a truck, it is a larger size for a coupe. It's yeah. small, but not tiny. It's not right, a Miata. Yeah. So, so, yeah, um, there's a good amount of surface area to work with here. Lay down some, some more water up on this yeah, thing. Yeah, bring it up. <laughs> Do it. Go, get it all sprayed down again. <laughs> and I say, Thank you, G. Davis. <laughs> I'm going to say that that looks... What do you think? A little bit more, Dane? A little more, or you think it's good? Hmm. I think... Put a little bit more on there. Now, I see people talking about using drying aids, but because this car has protection on it, we're kind of trying to offset that a little bit by not using drying aids and just showing what the towels on their own are capable of. Because the reality is when you're doing detailing content on the internet, no matter what you try to do, someone is always going to complain. Yeah. So we're just trying to do what like we can to try and appease as many people as possible, but it will not please everyone. I feel like I had more water on it the other times. I think if I kind of yeah, like I feel like that, you need a little more up here. No, because the water isn't necessarily. I'm gonna call that good there, here. and we're gonna jump into it before I start losing some of that yep, stuff. Yeah, run up. My coating is a decent contact angle on it. All right. So next up, the big one. The big one. So the big one is exactly what you think it is. It's a big one. It is a also waffle weave with a buttersoft suede edge on it. Um, same. It's a 70/30 blend. 
but this is quite a bit larger than the Drymere River, which you know, 2040. This is technically what's uh, what's that called? Um, you know, when they go to the college parties, it's like a, a Greek themed. Are you talking about toga? Toga. <laughs> this is my toga party uh, outfit here, right? Kind of go like something like this. You look more like a really, really, really cheap mascot. What? They don't say that. It's like you're, you're dressed like a marshmallow that became stale. <laughs> okay. All right, we're having too much fun. So yeah, I'm going to fold this up on. here. I'm going to go hamburger, hot dog, and we'll call it good there. We got so, Mike C here, a big one, big fan of the big one. A lot of people love the big one, dude, and the price. We barely talk about it. So Amazon, <laughs> we barely talk about it because it just everything else just seems much sexier, like the liquidator and the fifteen hundred and the gauntlet. And the Drymere River has name recognition that the big one doesn't. We when me and Dane named this towel, we were literally <laughs> like, so what should we call it? And we go, well, it's pretty big. And when somebody says, well, it's bigger than that one, and then we said, should we just call it the big one? And it didn't take any more thought than that. We just said, yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, yeah. um, but on Amazon, I want to say this towel is roughly twelve or thirteen dollars, um, mm -hmm. and it's an insanely good deal. Um, and again, you're getting Rag Company towel, seventy thirty blend, butter soft suede edge. What more could you want? So, no. uh, taking You'll see. It does taking the, the big one, flopping it right there. And here we Those go. Those don't look like precision folds, Anthony. Someone on the internet's going to get upset. I know. And Just kidding. This seeing? is totally gonna. <laughs> this is. Can we get a shot of here? It, it's oh, sucking that's up those. nice. Let me see what if, if it'll focus on that. You can see the water sucking itself up into the towel. Oh, you see that? Watch that big <laughs> drop. See that sea bass? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oop. Just sucking see them right it. up. See Look it. at mm. that. Delicious. Ooh, this towel is thirsty. Getting all those little water droplets just sucking up. Ooh, see this big one right here? Let's go for that one. It it's going to slurp it. Gone. Zoop. There it goes. And faster motion. And I mean, bam. I don't care who you are. That's got to be at least a little amusing. So, a um, little bit, a little bit of some snail trails on it. Mm -hmm. um, no, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, but uh, looks pretty good. Taking the towel here, flipping it over. I'm going to come around, continue drying. Cracks and crevices. Now, I do like waffles, especially on cars that have vents and you know weird, intricate areas, because I just feel like the waffle's easier to fit things into, because it's just a thinner towel <laughs> in general. But um, I'm going to have Seabass take a look at what we're working with here, because I want you to see that while this towel is, is absorbent, and it's removed most of that major liquid, I am getting some slight streaks from mm -hmm. just the waffle structure. Yeah, more so um, than some of the other towels we've used so, so far today. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not like, I think they'll disappear. Could be the humidity in here, could be yeah. something like that. It's definitely not cool in here. What are we looking at now? It is 83 degrees in here. So it's gone down a little bit, fortunately. Okay. Uh, can we get a wetness test here? Uh, look at the towel. Yeah. You've got a big streak down the middle, but it's mostly just peppering it on the your right, our left, yeah. the bottom now. But the top half looks very dry by comparison, probably because of the way you folded it. It's like a construction worker. Well, also, because of that big streak yeah. along the middle, that's the leading edge you had I when know. you had it folded. Yeah. So that makes so, sense. All right, here we go. Uh, drag dry. It's like I'm doing a magic trick. Get that perfect. Ooh, okay, now we can see the water going into those thirst pockets there. Towel's picking up a lot of that liquid. Ooh, getting a little shaky there. See, was that the gumbo? Yeah. Oh. And pulling that. And can we get a little bit of those that streakiness right there on camera? Is that able to pick that up? No, Anthony, once you've got that, I've got a good question here from Andy77. I'm going to pull that up. This is something we've talked about a lot before, but Andy says, lots of UK detailers say to use drying towels slightly damp. Thoughts on that with TRC towels? Uh, yes, 
All yeah. towels are going to work better if they're slightly damp. It's kind so, of like the, the cheat code. It unlocks the potential if you get a little bit damp first just to kind of wake it up. So what I always do, this is a little tip, is I have a bottle like of O&R that just mix at 256 to 1 spray bottle with distilled water. If I'm drying a vehicle without a drying aid for any reason whatsoever, mm -hmm. right, I'm almost always going to take my dry drying towel that I, yeah. I freshly pulled it out, take that bottle of O&R, mix it 256 to 1, and I give it just a couple quick sprays. Yeah. What that does is it dampens it a little bit, also improves the cleaning power a little bit, but also gives me that protective you know, addition of some polymers in there to help when I'm drying outside of a drying aid. This wood ionic I, barrier. Yeah, and so it's something really easy to do, um, and I think it makes a pretty big difference, but honestly, I'm using a drying aid so much that that I'm always reaching for yeah. a drying aid. So this is, once again, we've talked about this at the beginning of the stream. We're not using drying aids when we're doing this today. Yeah. The car has protection on it, so we thought a good equalizer would be not using a drying aid. Because if this were an unprotected car, chances are we would be using a drying aid. Yep, yeah. So, uh, Dean, can we get a wetness test here on this towel? Oh, Nico saying he used to use old t-shirts. Ah. Oh, no, ah. that's the early 2000s. I'm glad you've evolved since then, Nico. We all have. So, um, <laughs> I hope. what are you thinking, percentage-wise? This, this feels drier than I expected yeah. it to. Yeah, you already rang it out? I haven't rang it out. Okay. this. Feels like it's got a lot of life left in I'm it. I'm saying like 60 something percent. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Because it's more than half, but not by much. So, so what do you say? I think, six, you, got, you, I think you got room, once again, for the roof and yeah. probably the hatch yeah. in the back. So, this, I can't ring it out. I know I can't. No, it's, these waffles are definitely tougher to ring out. You'd think not. they'd be easier, but they're so dense that even though they're thin, they have a lot it's of. It's not wet enough to ring this one out. Pressure. So, but I actually want to do a test. Can you hold that? Yeah. I'm going to dry that hood again with that towel. Okay. Do it faster this time. Okay. But I'm going to. But keeping the towel as damp as it was. All right. Okay. Hood's wet again. Taking the taking the big one here, Dane, and okay. uh, we're just gonna drag dry this really quick. Grab my towel and flip it out. Now that it is damp, get those thirst pockets. I'm getting a little bit of streaking now. I can take both my hands, go through, dry everything off. I just want to see at what point I can wring this towel out, or if I have to mop it up. Get it mop it up to that I can't. Oh boy. Um, don't don't no. encourage him. Alright. Why do I even try, Dane? <laughs> I try to be funny. It never works out for me. Okay. There we go. Now this towel has dried two hoods. Can we get still not much coming out. I got two drops. I mean, that is, you yeah, look like you're dude. really working for that. That's not That's much That's it, man. I, it's like, I think there's more to go on the towel, but I think that you are going to get eventually. Oh, there, there we okay, go. Okay, you found a little tucked found away Found a the pocket. End there. But um, so anyway. So general gist of it is this can hang with the best of them. However, you may get a little bit of streaking in this very particular condition. Yeah. So compared to some of the others, which did not. Yeah. So... so we're trying to trying to be accurate yeah. as we can be, but in a real world scenario, not perfection. So, uh, uh, Ryan L, yeah. I am wearing a detailed image T-shirt. <laughs> Thanks, to my friends, for a detailed image. Yeah. I love this shirt, man. And, and so they do have them for sale there. You can check it out. Uh, Mop it up was great. Thank you, Sansquatch. I thought that was kind of you <laughs> uh, to pay attention to that. Um, let's see. Uh, we have some uh, bonjours you here. You can check my queue. I uh, saved a bunch in there. Big one's my favorite. And uh, I think we're going to move our way on to the, uh, yeah, we're going to move our way on to the Platinum Pluffle. Now, this was one, before we go on too far, this is back to the 1500. So I don't recommend using the 1500 with a sealant. I wrote that. I wrote that in the description uh, that I don't want people using the 1500 with a sealant, mainly for the fact that this towel was never really meant to be like, if I'm honest, it was never meant to be like everybody's favorite towel. I thought it was going to be primarily used for truck owners more, and more boat, like a niche and boat owners and things like that. 
and I'm not saying that truck owners is uncommon, but I'm talking like diesel style trucks, um, like um, you're talking trucks. about like cab over stuff. Like, you're talking yeah, about semi tractor like, trailer giant CDL yeah, required yeah, type yeah. trucks. And so um, that was that was kind of always the point of that of that of that of this towel. Yeah. But then everybody started using it for cars and loving it. Well, so I'll, I'll, I'll butt in and say the, one of the big reasons we say that is because based on our experience of people using the liquidator, a lot of people get in over their head using a sealant or something, yeah. and they lock up their towel. So in a way, we are kind of writing that to protect people from themselves who may not yeah. know. You need to make sure you're cleaning out your towel as soon as you're done with it if you're going to use like a sealant that's going to lock up the towel. Otherwise, your drying towel isn't going to perform like it should the next time you go to use it. Correct. And we just want this to be the most absorbent towel that's going to last forever and ever and ever. And uh, using a drying aid with it will make it more fun. It's going to definitely make it faster, uh, but it could potentially right degrade the absorbency of it if yeah. you're not washing to wet with rags to riches um, all the time. And so uh, we just have to so try to protect <laughs> ourselves and protect you guys. And that's why we said that. Um, it's not that you can't do it. It's just no. we want this to be an absorbent towel, not something that might get clogged up. And it's not that people aren't smart and can't figure it out. It's just some people don't think about that. Yeah. They just go about their business well, and they do they it. Might so be new into that is a way of kind of preventing people from doing that. However, if you want to go ahead and do that, by all means, it can be done. It's just we aren't going to condone it because we don't want to set ourselves up to have to deal with a bunch of people going, oh, my towel is locked up. What do I do now? It's like, why, why open that up in the first place? But people can do what they want. They're their towels. So, yeah. True, true, Dane. Um, all, all right. right. So uh, next up, we have the Platinum Pluffle. I don't think that this is going to do as good as the big one. Um, I, I'm going to say I will expect a little bit of streaking from this towel. Okay. Probably. But I want to talk, I'll talk about the feel. We'll talk about kind of what it does. But I, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's get this hood sprayed down, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> G. Davis on the sly. That looks pretty good to me. And uh, I'm grabbing our, grabbing our, Platinum Pluffle here. All right, Pluffle time. So Platinum Pluffle 7030 Blend Hybrid Weave, which is a combination of a traditional waffle weave base with Eagle fibers, meaning it's going to have the same Eagle fibers that we have on the Eagle 500s uh, implanted into the base structure of a traditional waffle weave. I just want to make sure you get the camera up close to see these thirst pockets in here. That is kind of the whole point of the pluffle is it really does have waffle weave style texture buried under all that fuzz. So I want yeah. to make sure people can see that up close and that's why this towel is unique. So what we'll do for this, and um, again, this is the crazy person's towel. If you are just absolutely meticulous and you are scared to death of the slight white mark or mar mark, mm -hmm. this is the towel that you want. So taking it, we're going hot dog on this because mm -hmm. I'm a hot dog right now. He's a glizzy guy, folks. All right. Here we go. Brand new towel. What I also like about the pluffle reduces pressure points, right? Because that extra pile, right? When I put my hand there, you can see my imprint right there. I'm feeling like I am uh, not applying pressure in that specific area, right? I feel like it's very evenly dispersed. There's no fingertips so, digging into and the it's surface. It's flusher. It's nice. Yeah. It's got that butter stuff suede edge. Looks, feels amazing. Gonna grab that, take it, and then start. Ooh, it's grabbing. It's grabbing because it's thirsty. And can we get those, let's see if we get some of these water droplets just kind of disappearing. Sucking up into those mythical eagle fibers. I predicted some trails from the pluffle, but I'm actually really surprised to see it's working even better any. than I expected. You can, uh, See, Bass, you want to feel that for me right there. Tell me how that feels. Dry to the touch. And then we're going to flip this over here. So right here, you can see that leading edge there. Is that saturated? Yes. That is pretty wet. Um, this looks like a dog <laughs> that, you know, got caught in a thunderstorm. <laughs> Dane, this looks like your dog. Your dog is kind of a platinum color. I mean, and, she's and a great Pyrenees cross with a red healer, so of course she's going to be a little bit difficult 
if her fur gets wet. Yeah. <laughs> But you can also see, see how it kind of rolls over on you? That's so more of a property is, so, of a so see, longer fuzzy pile towel. So, so I'm going to show you guys this. This is where some people might be annoyed by this. Mm -hmm. It has so much grab to it because of those eagle fibers. Yeah. When I go to wipe, yeah, you're rolling over on yourself. The towel is rolling on itself, right? It's no fault of the towel. It's no, not that anything bad is going to happen. It's doing its job. It's just, it, it really is trying to suck up everything it can. With now, those fibers. Anthony, that can be alleviated to some degree using a drying aid. Yeah. But at the same time, it's still not going to be perfect in that sense compared to what some of these other ones will do where they'll glide more easily. So yeah. once again, the pluffle is what you use when you're paranoid about your paint and you're afraid to dry it with anything other than maybe Dane, you know, a blower do you think plus that, Do you that. think that I'm paranoid about my paint? Yes, I do. Oh, it's a problem. All right, yes. come over here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a, a little wetness check here. A wet Showing check. you guys here. You're not able to really see everything. We got something, in, you know, things going on in the middle there, kind of those outer edges, about a third, two thirds of the way in. Um, but feels pretty good, honestly, for half of the hood. So now we're going to do a drag dry. Here we go. Casting a spell here. What if I drop the towel and just disappeared? <laughs> would that would you guys freak out? What if that was like this magic trick that I've been building up for years <laughs> to do on this one day? I'm kidding. Okay, here we go. Okay, Copperfield, do your thing. And the drag dry. Nice and slow. Ooh, it's looking good. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of some trailing happening. Not bad. And we are off of the hood. So, a little bit of trailing there towards those outer corners there. Come back and clean that up. Flip my towel. Um, I will say, still felt pretty good. If I'm honest, probably about as good as the big one felt in terms of drying and absorbency. Um, we'll knock out the rest of this hood here. And then I'll have Dane do a wetness check on it. Au revoir, Nico. And, have a good um, night. He can give me his thoughts. Those headlights cleaned off. All right. Dean, I think you're going to be surprised by this. Yeah. This is leaning more towards 50 to 55% yeah. wetness, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. I mean, this part I'm holding here, very dry feeling. Yeah. Over here, a little more saturated. Yeah. I can feel the parts. Like, it's very obvious when you look at the pile where the most saturated points mm -hmm. are because the pile gets matted. Yeah. Yeah. But as you move out from there, there's a lot of life left in this thing. There's a ton. Yeah. Like this goes I mean, in the whole car. Over here, this side is good for like entire panels. Here. Yeah. That'll that'll do a lot. You've got enough for the rest of the top of the car, I'm sure of it. Oh, I got enough. Yeah. I, I think I could do the whole thing. So what do you yeah. think? Would you say 50-55%? Yeah, if even that. That's I would say 45-50. I can't even, dude. I'm No. You're, you're not going to have much you can get out of there unless you go for the absolute ah, most saturated like part. You've got like five drips. <laughs> so uh, can we get a, I'm going to give it benefit, 50%. Let's do 50% wetness <laughs> tests. Yes, Joey. Papa <laughs> Hennon is going to have the cleanest hood in Idaho. <laughs> Which is hilarious because the car wash towel, 85%. The Dry Me River, 85%. So we, that was honestly, you know, maybe it's the technical side of microfiber and the improvements over the years showing its age. Pluffle's 50% there, Jimmy, and uh, dang, okay. Yeah. So the Pluffle, far better than what I gave it in terms of what I thought the saturation would be, but I really thought it was going to streak more than what it did. Well, I think, once again, it's, it's oftentimes a, a, a minority of people are going to be the ones who are the loudest ones in the room complaining, oh, mine streaked or something like that. Mm -hmm. When in reality, there's a lot of people out there who are really happy and don't mind if there's a little trail as long as yeah. it dissipates quickly, which yeah. that'll do. But yeah. understanding that pile does open you up to yeah. having some trail. So you shouldn't be surprised by that. No. But the whole reason you get that, like I've said a million times at this point, is because you're paranoid about what touches your paint. Yeah. That's the one to use. And our pluffle has been improved over the years. Um, uh, when I first started here, we had just we had released the pluffle about a year prior to me starting here. Yeah. And, um, and that was in 2017. So 2016, the pluffle came out. And the pluffle, um, at first, the, the fibers weren't that high. They were, they were, it was very still much a, a waffle weave with a slightly higher fiber. But over the course of the years, 
we've been able to extend those fibers, get them taller, get them fuller, yeah. um, uh, get it to where when you pull this towel out, like I promise you, if you order one of these towels and you pull it out of the packaging, you're going to be like, oh crap, this is nice, man. This is one of those nice towels that yeah. I'm afraid to use it because it's so nice. Whoever's mixing this right now is uh, not using the most useful camera angles. That's no, all I'm saying. No, uh, Nick's just coming for my, <laughs> my you, you, what we used to be a jawline. Oh. Um, can we get a shot of Oof. this at least if you guys are going to so zoom I've got, in on something? i got Dennis here. Go. So I'm looking to add drying aids to my arsenal. What towels would you recommend to use drying aids with? I have a gauntlet and an AutoZone fluffy towel. Surprisingly <laughs> decent. Okay. Well, um, if you got a gauntlet, you things can do that, that with it, but yeah, gauntlet there are be fine. better options to use with it. You, know, you can use any one of these with a drying aid. It just, uh, I would say, in my opinion, the twist and shout with a drying mm -hmm. aid, especially mm -hmm. a sealant, is going to be the first to probably seal up. Um, I think the second to seal up will either be the double twist wrist or the liquidator, um, and then eventually the 1500, the platinum pluffle. And the, the, the Dry Me River, uh, the Dry Me River waffle weaves seem to be the least affected by drying aids. They're not as bothered. But uh, everything else seems to get kind of bothered. However, um, I think many people will also admit that the double twistress, because of the size and because of the feel and the amount of bite that this towel has, mm -hmm. is one of the best feeling drying aid towels that we offer. So yeah. um, I, I'd, I'd take that, that, take that, take what you want from that. Big fan. Uh, now there are a number of other questions here if you want to answer a few before we move on. I've got, okay, this is not related to anything going on today, but if you can give them a quick answer, that'd be great. Okay, the first Great. question I've asked everywhere, <laughs> aside from the manufacturer themselves, but do you guys know the proper way to remove leather coatings? Um, leather coatings, are you talking about like an actual like leather strand coating? I'm guessing coating? coated leather, yeah. Because there, well, there's the factory coated leather. Or well, the right, I think leather. he's talking about maybe somebody put a coating on leather. I would say that color locks strong cleaner. It's stronger um, than you think. Or their degreaser is strong enough to remove any type of coating that would be done on leather. That and actual abrasion. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't abrade it. I would no. just probably say there is. I'm just cleaner. saying that would do it, but yeah. it's not necessarily what you'd recommend. Um, all right, moving on. We got Ryan here. Ryan saying big versus little. I like little, easier to wring out, less yeah. chance to touch the ground, but would you rather have more on hand other than size? Any advantages to having a larger towel? I mean, a lot of it is with a large towel for those people who like to drag dry, you could plop the whole thing out flat on a hood, on the roof, on a you know tailgate, something like that, Zoop, pull it along, yeah. and it does drag, a lot of the work for you. Drag drawing is a big thing. Especially when um, you can't reach something. It's nice it's to just be able to the, flop the it out there over and pull it back the to the shoulder, you. I guess we'll be jumping to the, to the uh, what do we, I think we'll jump to the twist and shout next. Um, the over the shoulder method, right, where some people like having the towel over their shoulder, when they're doing some type of drying. Um, I used to tell towel jokes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Sam Squatch. I appreciate it's it. Amazing. Keep bringing the dad humor. Here we go. Um, but some people like to throw it over their shoulder. Uh, the size of the towel really comes down to the size of the vehicle that you're washing, right? I feel like most coupes, most small sedans, I can get almost away with everything with using the double twist wrist. Something you can do that a size. lot with the double twist wrist. Um, the 1500, like I said, I only have it because of my truck. I, mm -hmm. I hate drying my truck. It's like the worst thing ever. It's, it just sucks. It's just... Well, it barely has what you would call like, paint. I just don't like washing trucks. I would have... When Dane had that black truck... <laughs> Nightmare fuel. Wash it once. Never again. Uh, I wish I had the 1500 then. So, um, I just hate dry, dry, washing and drying trucks. And so, that's why when we created this towel, it came from my deep-rooted hate that I hate doing that. Mm -hmm. And I thought that people with boats and that... Because I also dried a boat for the first time, oh, like last year. That also sucked. <laughs> and so I said drying boats uh, and then, you know, cabs, you know, diesel cabs of, of actual, you know, um, uh, delivery trucks could potentially use something like this. So when I went to Jeff and I said, hey, you know, I, I want to make a, a truck towel because of my hate for drying. When you've got a um, big slab sided beast, yeah. that'll, that'll do. And he's like, what do you want to do? And I said, I want it to be 1500 GSM and I want to call it the 1500. You know, he's like 1500 for the GSM. I just said, no, 1500 because of the you know, trucks are typically <laughs> around 1500. Uh, you know, the weight of them. And, um, and he was like, uh, that's a great idea. What color? I said, I want red. Because <laughs> I like red things. And, well, um, detailers love a good red towel. So They're always demanding so the ones that are the hardest uh, to make. That's how that happened. I mean, that's literally how that, this towel came alive. And we started doing some testing. We figured out um, what, kind of, uh, you know, what kind of stitching we wanted to do. If we wanted to do a, um, a hemmed edge. Um, and then it all came together. And we've loved it ever since. So, we've got a question here from Joey. So, if I'm washing my towels immediately after every use with a drying aid, 
Do I have to worry about clogging, say, with bead maker? He's talking about R2R specifically. So washing my towels immediately after every use? I don't think so. If, no. you're, if it's immediately... You're, you understand the no. issues present and you address them quickly, you're doing the right thing. Well, it's more of just the, hey, I just got done drying my car, I got to run to a car show and you throw the yeah, towel somebody on a shelf sets it and then you forget then. about it for a couple days, that's when you're going to have issues. Then your towel gets sealed um, up. But I mean, if it goes straight from literally drying into the washer with some rags to riches, you're fine, you're golden. Yeah. Meanwhile, R53 Maths here saying, I got my 1500 for clean and shiny recently. Shout out. Yeah. And uh, drives my R53 Mini Cooper in minutes with minimal effort. Beast Heck of yeah, man. Agree. And it should on such a small car. It should definitely just if have. If it didn't, we'd have a, probably a problem. Honestly, there. you'd have room left over for like four or five more minis with that thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So moving back on, we got more towels here. Okay. Let's get All right. To so it. I'm going to jump to the twist and shout, which. Um, Guys, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this towel may be getting discontinued eventually, so if oh, you want no. it, get but it. But we want to show can. it because there's a lot of people out there who have. I don't it. know. I I say it might be getting discontinued, but you know what? Whenever I say that, the sales pick well, up. Everybody got mad when they heard the Drago was going away. No, the Drago is going away. I know. <laughs> it's because nobody buys them, and then they get mad, and then they have a collector's item, and then we start the whole cycle again when we bring back a towel that was discontinued in a few years when people have forgotten All about right. it. It's time to remember. I need to get some more water on there. That seems like a decent amount. Okay. So, the twist and shout. Where do I begin with this? It is a short pile twist loop weave with a buttersoft suede edge, a 70 30 blend, and it's in purple. It was one of our. Uh, we, we don't have a whole lot of purple towels in our lineup, but this is definitely one of the purple ones. And so, um, that and a pearl. <laughs> torso size, we're uh, not quite my full. Uh, what was I calling it? Before? What? Toga. Yeah, not my, my my full toga, but it's you know, you know, it's maybe it's my it's my Vegas dress. It's like a mumu. <laughs> my Vegas dress when I want to go out. So. Anyway, um, we're gonna hamburger this, I think. When you feel this towel in person, you think, okay, this feels pretty good, but it's still light, it's still manageable. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not gonna call it a thin towel, but because of the shorter pile, um, it's not the thickest towel in Compared the world. Compared to like a liquidator or something, it oh, feels like yeah. a very different animal. Yeah. So but I, I like the feel of this towel. It's just a shame that more people didn't actually So we'll hamburger then hot dog it, and um, we're gonna go for the flop. Let's do a flop test. Sound like a good flop to me. Take our towel and we are going to start seeing. Look at that. Sucking it up. It's like a little monster. And we'll speed it up. Minimal, minimal grab, minimal drag on the towel. And, yeah, with one hand um, on that, that is still pretty much uh, completely streak free. So that was a great pass there from the towel. This is what we're looking like on the backside, sea bass. It's looking like it got an infection. Ugh. Ah. Like I remember that from my magic school bus days. Mm-hmm. Miss Frizzle was good looking. This All case right. is an amoeba. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. We're going to keep wiping this, clean off the rest of this side, headlight check, ooh, looking good, clean, clean, clean. So Look at that thing in though. terms of I mean, absorbency, on, <laughs> I think it would be hard to, I can't lie, this, the twist loop, jumping to the twist loop from the waffle weave mm -hmm. is a huge game changer. Um, the way, terms, the way it moves feels very different. The absorbency is amazing. The finish is amazing. Um, it definitely wants to grab and drink more. So I uh, do a quick wetness check here, showing you guys what I'm working with. And uh, there we go, on camera. You can see I'm looking a little splotchy on one side. And a uh, nice big uh, crease in the middle. So we're going to go for the drag dry now. Here we go in three. Two, one, and feeling it do some work. Wow. Nothing major. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and say that that is uh, that, that was almost, that, that thing aced it. It's 
pretty good. Come down here, quick headlight test. That looks great. Once again, no drying aids. No drying aids, and that's that, man. I mean, uh, and this this towel could easily do maybe two of these cars based on the way this feels. This is about, I'm gonna say, forty percent wetness testing. Yeah. What do you think hmm. on see. that? Forty-five, maybe. I mean, it looks like somebody ran over Grimace with a steamroller, but, yeah. you know, but as far as the it, actual... It looks wetter than what it is. <laughs> I would say it, it looks worse than it feels. Yeah, it looks worse than it feels, yeah. It feels, like I know the weight of this towel normally, this, this feels still pretty light. Yeah. Like you could do a lot. You could do a lot more. You could do the rest of the car with this. Oh, I'm, yeah, easily. I'm convinced. You got the windshield, roof, wind, all no, that I could stuff. No, I think you could do two cars with it. I did a, did a Raptor yeah. with it once. I can do two yeah. small Jaguars, you, two you small Ford vehicles. Well, like I said before, this is not that small, though. Dane, like, it's that pretty small. By coupe standards, it's large. So what are you going to say? Percentage, what are you going to give it? <clears throat> I'm going to say that that probably, like, 35-40%. Okay. Yeah. 40%. Let's do 40%. Yeah, we'll do 40. We'll be fair. I have a question so, here from Gabriel. Pretty though. good, I wanna, man. I want to put this one out there. Gabriel saying, and talk about towels. Bring back the yellow slash gold Minx Edgeless. I only I have five left, and they're great for waterless wash. I Gabriel, love Gabriel. Use the Minx Royale. Gabriel, I love the Edgeless Minx as well, but there was just too many um, issues with the edging on that towel, and so we had to, for, unfortunately, discontinue it. But the Minx Royale exists. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a, a satin banded edge. Same which material, is really nice. but with a border. It's got a border on mm -hmm. it. But I do agree, though, the Minx, um, if you only knew how much <laughs> QC we did with the Minx, me so and Dane much. would stand there for hours. When, yeah, there was you, only, you see, like, uh, when there was like 11 employees here, and me and Dane, they said, hey, you guys have towel Q, you know, QC duty, so we go over there. It's and like Apocalypse Now looking into their eyes like. <laughs> yeah, so Dane was like, <laughs> Dane, like, are you sure? Can we continue to edit videos? That's kind of what we want to do. Yeah. And they say, yeah, well, you know, so-and-so called in sick, so you got to pick up, you know, pick up the pace. So there you go. That was back in the day, man. That was when <laughs> there was just a few of us. All right, um, so... Ooh, okay. Before we move on to the next one, this is a great one because people do this all the time. They want to know. Tom, guys, I understand the different sizes. I don't understand the million different choices. They all just dry the car. Please enlighten me. Thank you. Tom Hoffelick. Uh, I'll explain this in the best way I can. Yeah. To a normal everyday person, or somebody that's just getting into detailing, I understand it's confusing. It doesn't Your make sense. Your question makes perfect sense I, in that I, context. I would have, I would have totally said, said the same thing. I don't, I would have said, I don't get it. Why, if they all do the same thing, why do you have so many of them? So we have so many of them because certain people like the way uh, towels feel um, uh, tactically on the surface, right? They like the tactile feel of a towel. They also like the way a towel works with the products that they're using if they are using products. So for example, I'm just drawing water on the surface, right? But every single one of these towels has a different feel when I drag it across the hood. Now that may sound crazy, but I also thought that people were crazy that customized uh, mechanical keyboards on their computer because they like the way certain buttons feel they when they're typing. They want that click and clack, right? And I said, who the heck feel. is going to customize a keyboard to make it click and clack more than that, right? And then I thought to myself, well, I'm crazy, and I like the way that certain drying towel feels in others when I wipe them across the surface. It's the same kind of train of thought there, but in this field and in, in this realm. Or the approach I would take metaphorically would be cars. Cars will get you from A to B. You could yeah. ride a trike and get from A to B. It would be a lot of work, but you yeah. could do it. But you could take a basic, you know, Hyundai, you know, get car, a just basic little hatchback, and no launcher, for example. Yeah. You can get from A to B. Certainly fine. You can modify it even yeah. if you want to. But if you decide you like Porsche 911s better, that doesn't mean the Porsche 911 shouldn't exist. It, it just means you prefer a different way of getting there and say you have the means to do that. Great. I realize cars are an expensive proposition, but the point is they all achieve the same result of getting you from one place to another. But the way in which they do it and the feel of getting there is very different. Yeah. So no, it's, it's I, I think that's a big part of this because no matter if we yeah, only carried one drying towel and we put it out there, there would be so many people out there complaining, I like this towel, I like what it does, but it just does this one thing I don't like. So then we create an alternative version that satisfies that need. Next thing you know, you've made quite a few different versions because guess what? 
people are diverse. There's a lot That's of true. different opinions out there. And we've tried our best to narrow it down to as few as possible, but there's still a lot of options. Yeah. But there are people out here who will sing high heavens that each one of these is their absolute favorite and the best one they've ever used. And they're all right for their own purposes. Yeah. So true, that's, true. that's a big part of it. True, true. So next up, we have the double twistress, right? So uh, the double twistress is a 70-30 blend, slightly longer piled twist loop and a more knotted twist loop than uh, that of the twist and shout. And so when you look at this, you can start seeing that the twists are actually larger, more denser, a little bit more knotty like. And so uh, it's a completely different feel than the twist and shout. This goes to the denseness of this towel um, and also kind of that slightly rough feeling from it. And so uh, when people feel this towel, they go, oh my gosh, this, this isn't as soft as my other towels. What, you know, why would I use it? Then I they, once described it as like a burlap sack, which sounds like horrible, know, but yeah. the reality is like it's a microfiber equivalent of feeling like a burlap sack, which means it's still soft. So we but called it, feels it, we called it the twistress rougher. because it's kind of like your mistress, right? <laughs> your mistress may not be better looking or better feeling, <laughs> Than your, <laughs> than your main, than your main squeeze, right, right. Oh. But it does things that maybe <laughs> others don't, right. And so when you show people this or tell people about the twistress, you're kind of like, hey, this isn't as good looking, but I promise you, man, it does some crazy stuff. And that's why Dane came up with the name twistress. <laughs> oh, cool. I was wondering when the bus was gonna rub <laughs> yeah, you over. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that on Dane. So it's meant to be a fun, it's meant to be fun. It's not meant to be serious at all whatsoever. So, um, but it is a great towel. It's just not the best, it's not the best feeling in terms of softness and it's not the most attractive, but holy crap, does it work? So let's go ahead and rinse this off. And I'm gonna put a little bit more water on it because I want to give the twistress a run for its money. Like I said this towel does things that others don't, so we're gonna make sure it shows it that way. A lot of people out there do really love the twistress, specifically so, the double twist. Uh, and this is a 20 by 24 size, 20 by 24 size um, uh, buttersoft suede edge 70/30 blend um, with a beautiful stitch on it. And then also this towel has diamond stitching in it that mm -hmm. a lot of people can't see on camera. It's kind of hard to pick up, but there is, uh, in fact, diamonds uh, sewn into the, uh, there you go, you can kind of see the outline there. So There you go, Tom. I was glad we were able to explain that in a way that made sense. All right, so for this, I'm folding it in half. That's it. I'm not going to do a double, double fold. I'm doing one single fold. 20 by 24, we're going to give it the flop. Bam. See the diamond shapes there. Take the towel and... Watch that water just suck itself up. It goes without saying, the twistress, thirsty. So this, I mean, when I say that this is, that is drier, it's as dry as could be. Couldn't be any drier than that. Down to the bone. And then we're going to flip it over, give it another quick wipe here. Clean that up. I like how easy this towel is to maneuver. Um, that headlights, bone dry now. Um, overall, I mean, that's pretty impressive. So we'll do a quick wetness check over here and show you what we're working with. Again, this is another situation where a twist loop will look much more wet than what it is. Yeah, this there's is, gonna be a lot of life left. When I that. feel this, it feels dry. It doesn't feel wet. Even in the wet spots, when I touch it, feels dry, it doesn't feel wet. So uh, it's really impressive. We're gonna go for the drag dry now, see how it does. It's 20 by 24 size, guys. This is literally half the size of the, of the twist and oh, yeah. shout. Everybody's talking about they like smaller towels. The double twistress is that. So, bam, one pass, coming back for two pass, two pass. That's dry, third pass here at the bottom. And that's dry there. So you see how wet that towel looks, and you still there's no trails, there's no there's no monster I feel anything like the left behind. The show's getting really QVC now, right? Buy now, but you know what? We're showing them in real time what it actually does. We're yeah. not BSing that's, or anything. This is actually what you see is what you get. So that's pretty dry. Okay, yeah. so wetness check on this. I'm not gonna lie. I think we're right now. Hmm. 
we're probably around that 50 to 55 percent. It's got half of it left in it, but we are again working with a smaller size towel. Uh, the Twistress, for example, does come in a two pack, though. I think, um, mm -hmm. I believe it's mostly sold in two packs. Yeah. So uh, check out the ridecompany.com. Occasional gentleman wanting to know when will we know if the uh, Twist and Shout gets the axe? Um, so it. This really will, does feel a lot drier than it looks. We will know probably here within the next month. Um, we'll know for sure if the Twist and Shout will be disappearing. Try to give it a ring, Dane. I don't think it's going to happen. It's one of the harder towels to ring. I got ring. four drips out of it. So, yeah. I mean, it is... What are you going to give it? It's saturated in the middle. However, yeah. as soon as you work out from there, you got the rest of the car to do with this yeah. thing. So, what are you going to give it percentage-wise? Uh, I'm going to say it's no more, no more than half at most. You want to say 50 even? I'd say 50 percent. Okay. Let's say 50 45, even. 50 percent. I'll say 50 even, just because yeah. there's a couple areas that have just a little. Yeah, and that's what that's what throwing me is the areas that are really just saturated, but everywhere more. else feels so dry. Uh, but I mean, this is just another example of you know a towel that's not big, but holy crap, can it dry? Mm-hmm. All right, putting up Javier here. Amen for the Twistress. Wanted something a little larger than the smaller Griot's PFM, uh, but some, but uh, smaller than the larger towel. Nice size for me. Awesome, man. All right, there we go. All right, moving along. So speaking of smaller towels, we do have a smaller size of um, the next towel coming up, which is going to be the Liquidator. I'm gonna go from the. I, I was gonna jump to the Gauntlet. What are you, you saving think? that for last? What do you think, Gauntlet or Liquidator? What do you want to see me do? The Liquidator, I feel, is like I a fan favorite, but the Gauntlet, the Gauntlet has that name recognition. I know, you know what? Base. Let's we'll, save it for the end. We'll do the Gauntlet. Yeah, we'll do the Gauntlet yeah. possibly next. So, uh, Liquidator is next up on our list here. So this right here is the largest size Liquidator uh, that we have in the lineup. So 25 by 36, and uh, this towel is an absolute beast. I mean. Uh, not uh, eh, toga worthy, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Say you can toga do it. worthy for sure. Um, hemmed edge here. Uh, so I believe this towel is sitting a little over 1100 GSM technically. And um, beautiful aqua color. Everybody knows that based on the, uh, the color. It is a single uh, colored towel, whereas the smaller versions of the liquidator are double sided, have an ice gray and blue finish to them. So um, sorry, it's getting a little sweaty in my uh, earpieces. Yeah, it's, down. it's like a coral, bright teal kind of color. Yeah. There so, um, yeah, man, this is a, I can't, when Jimmy's behind the camera and starts cracking jokes, it throws me off. <laughs> Jimmy, don't crack that funny stuff that I can't see on camera. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and give this a shot. 70-30 blend. Um, it's one of our best selling drying towels. That's pretty much all, all I got to say. Give this all a right, spray let's down let's get this wet again. Wow, we gotta give it more than that. Yeah, it looks better. So the liquid aider. It ate the liquid. It ate the liquid. So uh, for this, this this is a pretty big towel. Not as quite as big as the fifteen hundred, of course, but it's a big towel. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go for a. Um, we're gonna go for a hamburger. Then I'm gonna hot dog it. Just because I know that this towel can do a lot. So if we're ready. Ready, Jimmy? We're going for the flop. Nice flop. Hand on here. I still feel that reduced pressure point feel and uh, go for our first pass. It's a big buffer between your hand and what's on the surface. Bone dry. Man. Bone, bone, bone dry. I'm going to use the same side because this towel has so much left in it that I'm just going to Keep it going. Headlights done in one pass. I mean, spoiler alert, the 1500 is just this, but on steroids, more intense. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that. I mean, I don't even have to wipe over anything. Now, because of the size of this <coughs> towel, I will show you, in terms of our first wetness check here, this towel has barely even been touched. I mean, that corner is pretty yeah, much it. That still looks like you just um, pulled And when I out. feel it, it is dry to the touch. So it only looks darker, it's not actually wet. Um, this towel has a ton of life left. So we're going to go for the first drag dry. This microphone, I'm sorry guys, sometimes it doesn't yank on me like it does, but it is. Kind of like, I feel like, a, like, I feel like I'm on a leash 
right? Kind of <laughs> pulls me back. Like, what the heck's going on? Well, you got some slack on the leash now. Jimmy's so. looking, giving me a weird look right now. Okay, here we go. Drag dry number one. Flip it. So that whole thing was still covered in water. Will it be gone? On the Dang, that is <laughs> that's too good. And, that's what uh, it was made for. Here we go for that bottom half. This, yeah, this towel lives for the drag dry method for sure. And N like not we even talked trying. about earlier, they get better as they get a little bit dampened. Dane, this towel is like literally 20, it's not even 20%, maybe 20%. It's, <laughs> There's it's, one part on this that feels like, oh, you dropped it in like a little baby puddle and the rest of it is just dry. It's just bone dry, <laughs> dude. <laughs> There's That's, so much I'm going to say 20%. Uh, yeah, I was going to say 20%. I'm going to give it another run though, but yeah. we're going to mark 20% on the board. All right. I just want to... This is just to do it again and see where we end up. See what percentage we get this after is, going a second time. At twenty percent, this towel is just now primed. It's just getting warm. It's up. just ready. So here we go. Drag dry. Bam. Oh, I got caught. Let's try it again. Now that was okay, that was another comment I saw come up, which was some people talking about I love my twist loops, but the Achilles heel of them is they big. do get caught on any kind of like sharp protruding surface, whether it's like a windshield wiper or an emblem, that is something you realistically have to look out for. Now, if all we are doing here is just plugging how great these things are, we want to tell you about the pros and the cons so, so that you can make an informed decision. The problem is, is that's all part of the game, man. There's always yeah. going to be sharp edges on There's cars. Yeah. There's always going to be always. things to catch it on. Twist loops are a closed loop, uh, the way they come back around. And there's no way to get around that. That this hood is now dry. I literally did the most minimal amount of drag work I've ever yeah. done. Um, incredible towel, incredible. I find it interesting. Everybody just stopped commenting like five minutes ago, and they're all just enthralled watching now. I hope they are. Well, there's 120 people. Holy watching, smokes! So. Yeah, you guys been, do like solid. us. Yeah, no, it's been Single good. It's been good. Face. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Seriously, because yes. without you guys watching. We wouldn't be able to do fun stuff like this. <laughs> we would just be a couple of guys wandering around in a garage playing with towels. I mean, that's not really... <laughs> uh, Better yeah. when you start filming it, right? <laughs> yeah, and so. that's how we decided to pull out a camera. <laughs> um, so, liquidator, mm -hmm. um, again, multiple sizes. And uh, the, the, the 16 by 16 size is amazing. This size is the largest size, 30 by 36. Off the top of my head, 30 by 36, 30 by 35, <laughs> Make sure you got it right. By 36. Um, Refer to the website to be absolutely My sure. guys, I've it's been a long day. No, already. we are not doing that. <laughs> Time to foam <laughs> Dane again, I agree. Uh, oh, but no. uh, the largest size, uh, it pays for itself probably in the first couple washes. You're going to love it. It's a great gift for people as well who maybe have never you know, had a good drying towel before, but you don't want to maybe spend the money that you would on something like the gauntlet. So and thank you, Medster Ritz. So uh, speaking of the gauntlet, Right? Yes. The gauntlet was created when me, Dane, and Levi were up in the old podcast studio. And uh, Jeff had come inside and said, hey, you know, we want to create a new drying towel. You know, what are your ideas? And, you know, I, he's like, I have this idea for this weave. If we can pull this off with how this is going to look. And we looked at it. It might be a little and, ridiculous. And then we said, "Well, what if we did a what if we did another another uh, buttersoft suede edge on it?" And he's like, "Okay, I like that." And then Levi says, "Well, what if we make it two colors, one on one on each side?" Mm -hmm. And Jeff's like, "I really like that, Contrasty. right?" Contrasty. And I'm like, "Yeah, maybe ice gray. Maybe we do like a dark gunmetal gray, like a dark gray on the other side." And we're kind of it's all being it's all coming together, right? The vision. It's, it's like giving this thing battle armor. Yeah, it, it's it's all, it's all coming together. <laughs> the double twist. And then he just then Jeff says, "Well, up. what would we call it?" And Levi throws. Oh, that that Le was. Levi <laughs> says, "It's called called the gauntlet." We're throwing down the gauntlet. Double sided. Hold on, that was me. Oh, you said that. Yeah, something <laughs> like that, right? He's like throwing down the gauntlet. I think it was Levi, actually. I can't remember who was who it was. Uh, we all come up with all the names around here, so it's a team effort thing. But um, throwing down the gauntlet, and then I said something like, "Choose your side. Are you the light side? Or are you the dark side?" Right? And Levi's like, "I'm the dark side." I'm like, "I'm the light side." That and part so, is definitely you guys. Um, and we joked around about that. So the gauntlet. This is the biggest size of the gauntlet that we have. What makes this uh, what makes this unique is that. This is a patented <clears throat> weave right here that we have on this. This is a patented checkerboard weave that we've done in our own way. Now, 
What was very interesting is that there was another company that came out with a Wii very similar to ours, but they did focus on, they focused on just stripes. Whereas we had the initial stripe thing and we said, you know what, it sucks that we don't, we don't, we don't want to have the same, you know, the same style. And so we patented this new checkerboard style weave here to where basically it's alternating stripes, but it also has that cross hatch going through the top there. So it works as, like Dane says, a squeegee effect on that twist loop. It's a combination of uh, the same twist fibers that the double twistress has, but also a flared twist loop, which is actually a brush twist that it flares it out to a more plush pile. So um, that two-sided, 70-30 blend, this is a pretty heavy towel. When you mm -hmm. pick it up, it, you you know that it's a it's a no, good like towel. Short of the fifteen hundred, this is going to be the heaviest towel you can get from our drawing yeah. selections. So I'm going to take this and we're going to get the hood wet again. I'm probably just going to go hamburger to hot dog. What do you guys? I'm going to let you guys choose a side, light or dark. What do you want to see? I mean, this thing is so dense. It's basically like Angus. Angus? Or did you say Angus? Angus. Like Angus meat? beef, like a thick burger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get this thing hydrated. That looks, ah, uh, dang, I keep losing all the water. Stupid coating. It's too good. <laughs> too good. All right, that's fine. I think it works. Okay, so the gauntlet. In my opinion, works best once it's primed. Mm -hmm. I like, uh, I do like priming this towel. We're going to go into it unprimed, no drying aid. You know what you see is what you get. You're just going in dry. So here we go. The flop. It's got a yep. good flop to it. It's got a good look to it. It's a good looking towel. Take this, and lots of drag and grab I'm getting from this towel. You can tell those those flared twists are really wanting to you know grab onto the surface and pull everything up. Yeah, we got but, a lot of dark side fans here. Oh good. Okay. Yeah. But this Steve asked, can we get a dry test? You know, can you fill it with your hand there? What do you think? Pretty dry? I think that that's nice. pretty dry. So coming over to here, same thing. We're gonna drag this across the top. Quick little headlight pass there. And we'll flip that again. Bam, dry. So, um, I don't really know what to say, guys. I mean, this thing, in terms of, this has less glide than the liquidator has on the surface, meaning it's got more, uh, it's got more drag to it because I think it's got, it's got those plusher fibers that like the pluffle kind of has. Again, the pluffle is more of a traditional eagle fiber. This is a flared twist. So basically, this is the, the twist loop that has been uh, turned into an ultra plush. And so it's basically been flared out. Um, but in terms of, uh, let's do a little wetness check here. And uh, I got one corner kind of wet, barely. It's not even really <laughs> kind of wet. I mean, one like, quadrant. <laughs> like this is still, oh. I mean, even the wet quadrant of this thing isn't even nice. completely saturated. You're looking at maybe 20%, yeah. not even 25. So I'll continue using using the gray side here just for oh, yeah. posterity. The other side look, uh, you can't even see it. And on the light side, I would expect to see it more easily. So here we go, drag dry. How we do drag dry? Drag this. Again, this definitely has that squeegee style effect, and holy crap, that's amazing. So, that's uh, that was the best drag dry we've had so far in this whole live. Yeah, pretty. Dane, well, I don't know. What do you Making think? Making quick 50, work of these 15 things. 15%? What do you think? Well, like I was saying, if we're going by actual, like, it looked like a quarter of it was wet. 25% would have been the initial thing. However, but it, only it one looks, it looks look, wet. One quarter of one side was wet, yeah. so that's even less. So yeah, I mean, you're looking essentially at like an eighth. But in this case, yeah, I would say we're maybe 15 to 20% at this point. We're not anywhere close to I'm gonna half. say 15, I'm gonna this say. Is, this is very, dude, very, this, there's so much I potential got, left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse it one more time. Let's go and get 15 on the board. Yeah. Uh, let's I'm, gonna, say. I'm gonna say 15% just for that hood. And um, 
quick drag dry. We're only going to use the light side this time for a, just a quick drying session. Yeah, this is, this thing's pretty killer. Take this, bam, on the hood. We are dragging and drying. That <laughs> side's done. You made it look so easy. Oh, sorry, Seabass, you're... <laughs> Send our cameraman to the hospital. Took you guys for a ride. And uh, yeah, man, that's... This is literally about as easy. That's it. All right. That's done. Man. Still, Dane, what's that, 20% now? I mean, it's, I mean, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe 20, maybe you're, 30%. You're, you're just approaching 20 now. So, yeah. um, gauntlet, also impressive. I'm sorry if you guys are struggling to try to find your perfect drying towel, and this feed isn't helpful. I don't know what else to <laughs> well, say. No, like, what we're doing here is, okay, so if there's scientific thorough, we're doing real-world thorough, where we're just yeah. kind of, you know, put it out there, get the surface wet, take it on, what do we got, ballpark it. But I think it really is accurate as to how people are going to experience this in their garage, in their driveway, in their shops. This is yeah. how these towels would stack up. And I yeah. think a big important part of this whole thing, talking to this camera now, a big important part of this whole stream we've been doing is showing people not necessarily which towel here is best, but which towel is best for you. So you may have different needs than other people when it comes to the drying towels, which, as you saw in that earlier comment, he was asking, well, they all do the same thing. Why are there so many different kinds? Well, like we talked about, there's different ways of getting from A to B, and how you get there is just as important as actually getting there in many cases. So yeah. for a lot of people, I, I figured this you know, kind of live stream where we don't use drying aids, yeah. but the car has protection on it, yeah. is a good balance. It, it's very real world, because a lot of these cars, if people are taking care of them, they'll already have some kind of protection on them. Will it be the same? Probably not, but it's going to be something. And if the car's not protected and you use a drying aid, you're going to have more or less the same experience as we're having right now. Just yep. slightly different uh, orientation of all the moving parts. Couldn't agree more, Dane. Yeah. So here we go. The 1500. No, Let's end this thing the right way. <laughs> it's time. It's time. It's so time. any more comments here? Oh, yeah. I own all these MFs. Keep it going, you guys are great. Thanks, man, we appreciate it. All right, let's get this thing rinsed one more time. I own all these microfibers, says Tommy C, because he definitely meant microfibers when he yeah. said MFs. <laughs> a little more, a little just, more. A, just a taste. Okay, that looks good. That looks pretty good to me. All right. Keep those beads from moving. <clears throat> and uh, here we go, man. 1,500. 1,500. Yep. Let's uh, make some magic happen here. So 1,500 is, gosh, the size of this. What, what, is it 20? I don't know. It's a 36 by 36? Refer to the website if Refer you're not website, sure and you want say. an exact measurement. All the details yeah, are 36 there. 36 by 36. I think that's what we're All the links with. to these towels are it in is, the description uh, It today, is a perfect square, in case you're basically. Um, so, uh, this towel, 1500 GSM, when you pick it up, it's heavy. You're going to know what this thing feels like out of the box. It's, it's pretty impressive. So, I don't know, since it's a square, we're going to go fold. It's a hamburger, it's a hamburger, hamburger every time, right? Because I'm folding it half and half. Here we go. All right, it's hip to be Grab square. Grab this chunky monkey. Give it that first big flop. Ooh, that's a plop. This is, yeah, a lot of towel. And we're dragging. Yeah, that is. What a monster. Was there anything left? Like even a little? No, it's, it's, uh, it's doing it's such a good job, guys. I mean, this is. This is game over in terms of finish, fastness, speed, feeling. I mean, it's got the great feel of a uh, of the twist loop, but I don't know. Gauntlet is still amazing as well. I'm, I'm between the two in terms of my what, what I'm liking, feeling the best right now. Do a quick wetness check here on the half hood. 
this towel looks far wetter than what it actually is. This is bone dry. I mean, <laughs> I think those are just shadows on the surface. There's some, okay, you can see some wetness there. Oh my God, it's nothing. It's like somebody's chihuahua got, you know, excited or something, yeah. but that's about it. <laughs> that was that side. So I don't know. Let's go ahead and keep it going. Drag dry. <laughs> Somebody startled a small dog over the towel. That's about all you got. Two, one, and. Wow. <laughs> right, Anthony. I like Fazal's comment here. So that's one side. That's the other side. But it hasn't gotten one side, the other side. Dude, this towel's got Kim, a lot. Kim is exactly right. So the biggest, reddest, thirstiest mo you've ever seen. <laughs> dude, what are you gonna say? I'm gonna say either ten or fifteen mm -hmm. percent on that. Oh. <laughs> if that, are you kidding me? Like, look at the one side. Look at the look at the untouched ones. I mean, I was saying it looked like somebody startled a chihuahua that was standing over it, but yeah. that's about it. Uh, this side, I mean, you got a little more, but not much. We are at max. 15, 20% at most. It doesn't even say, seem like that. I'm going to say 15, 15, 10 to 15 even. Okay, we'll say, we'll say. Once say, again, these numbers are not scientific. This is ballpark, just how it feels to hold the towel okay. eh, compared to these others. That's All right, do another drag dry session here. There's no way, I can't ring out the 1500. I'm not even going to try. And uh, there we go, got a decent amount of water on the hood. Let's go. Uh, Speed test. Ready? Three, two, one. Drag dry. Gone. Yeah, you're not even drag like dry. trying to be delicate. It's just doing it. Gone. I'm going to drag it up to this corner here. <laughs> drag it up to this corner here. And that's done. Holy Bam. Crap, that was instant. And there was no trickery there. Nothing. That's just how it works. Nuts. Okay. Insane. You would think. Now, this I would argue magic. you could have done that same thing with the liquidator and gotten the same result. It just would not have gone as far as the 1500 I'm gonna, I'm if you kept I'm gonna going. I'm going to do one more time, Dane. Okay, i got to do it one more time. But uh, we're going to answer a few more questions, and yeah, then of course. we're going to be going to lunch. So yeah. this has been a fun to feed. It has. We're going to do another speed dry via the drag dry. Joey says you don't even seem excited at how absorbent it is. I mean. <laughs> like, it's so not surprising at this point that you're just like, yeah, it, it's amazing. <laughs> there we go. And it's drying all of that. And then I'm going to come around here, dry all of that. This is the same towel he was using before. It's just getting more that, saturated. There we go. We but you wouldn't know it by looking at it. Dry vehicle again. I didn't get down here, but you know, quick little wipe. We're good to go. So pretty amazing. I mean, it mm -hmm. really is. No, that was about what you would hope for. Cool. So yeah, I think that establishes the hierarchy. Dominance it establishes dominance. Well, we did does. a good job, kind of on each one, touching what works, pros, cons, all that good stuff. So basically, I've got a handful here. People were asking, like, what are your favorites? Like, for your purposes, what would you be going to first? It's so already explained. The things I have, I have the I have the fifteen hundred. It's amazing. It's a lot of towel to lug around for one one car. So I use this only for my truck. I have the pluffles for my perfected perfection, you know, polished vehicles. I have the double twistress for pretty much everything else. Um, and then I have a gauntlet. I have a lot of the gauntlet wheel cleaning towels. Um, I have I had a couple gauntlets, but I sealed them up on accident with using c 2 b 3 with them as a drying aid. And I have some waffle weaves as specifically uh, for glass. And so mm -hmm. um, I don't have any 16 by 27 car wash towels in my lineup currently. But, but a lot of people with shops do. A lot of people with shops do. Yeah. So um, I utilize most of them. And the liquidator, I have a liquidator. I use this on my wife's Forerunner, and I use it in this size, and it does the job every time. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I do utilize all of them, but again, you know, yeah. I, I, we've also helped create most of these. And so, That's um, true. yeah. Tommy here, the 1500 takes like 20 minutes longer to dry over the liquidator. Assuming you get them to their full saturation point, the 
Tal's obviously going to hold a lot more than the other. The 1500 will hold more than the liquidator. So yes, it will take longer to dry the 1500 than the liquidator you if the, you get dryer? into a full saturation. He means like, if say you air dry, yeah. if you're just leaving them out, this Are one will be saying? dry sooner than that one. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. it's like 400 GSM less. It's just yeah. physics at that point. Yeah. So yeah, obviously. But if you can get so much of a job done with the red one, the 1500 can do so much. So if you got the big jobs, it makes sense. So moving here, I like this from the occasional gentleman. I never thought I'd actually unironically watch paint dry. Well, technically the paint's not drying, but <laughs> <laughs> the surface of the paint is. So I got a lot of different people here talking about their favorite towels. Madster here, thank you for loving the streams. We appreciate that you enjoy these. And we hope everybody who's watching right now, I waited until now to say it, but you know what I'm gonna say. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That's how we know and notify more people about these. I did hear from some people that they didn't receive a notification despite being yeah. subscribed. So what I'll say to that is make sure you also click the notification bell when you're uh, subscribing because that'll actually get you put into the feed to receive our actual notifications when we go live. And at the end of the show here, I will also be talking about a few more things with some upcoming live events mm. that we got going on. Actually, one in particular, a very big one. Ooh. You know what? I'm just going to cut to that right now. Let's talk about Justin Pate's birthday bash event. That's going to be the Rap Institute event. And we've actually got it here at theragcompany.com. We've got some of the details shown on the page there. So if you're not quite sure what's going on there, check this out. We'll have a live stream built into the YouTube channel in the not too distant future. But in the interim, you can catch the trailers that play before each of our live streams. And uh, here's what's going on here. So there's going to be big giveaway stuff going on. You'll be entered in as long as you're donating, following the links and instructions on the website there. It's basically only about $10 for a donation, but each one will get your name put into the pot. And uh, as the live stream event goes on, names will be drawn from the pot and people can potentially win all kinds of cool stuff, most of which is actually listed right there at theragcompany.com if you follow the link to the Rap Institute Justin Pate Charity Event link. So if you want to know more about that, go read up on the website. There's a lot of cool stuff. That is happening on August 10th. And it's kind of in the morning, so it's going to be yep. like a uh, 10 to 12.30 p.m. kind of situation, as I recall. Mountain Standard Time. It's going to be a ton of fun. And um, honestly, I think the odds are ever in your favor to win mm -hmm. some really cool stuff. I mean, oh. literally, we're in you know, thousands I, I of dollars. I had one disclaimer that I put in there, okay. because I want to make sure that everybody has a good time. Yeah. And it wouldn't be fun if like one person just dominated and won everything. I well, mean, for they, that, for that person, money, it would be fun. If they spent money to do it, then yeah. But the point here is, when somebody wins, during this event, if somebody wins a prize during a drawing, they're not eligible for future drawings. So if their name gets drawn again, so they had a bunch of entries, they're going to skip that one, draw again, so that someone else has an opportunity. And you shouldn't get mad at that because who made this, that rule? I made that rule. But so, wait, did you just make that because it's in the, It's already in the text on the website that you can I win multiple wrote that things. text. Okay, all right, good. So all right. The point is, I want people to have opportunities, yeah. and I don't want anybody to feel like. Well, that guy just you know, took everything because they spent more money than everyone else. I want people to donate for the right reasons, Yeah. for one thing, because you should be donating yeah. because you actually care. So yeah, absolutely. Important. Empathy is good. Pro tip. Uh, but other than that, I, I would just say, you know, enjoy the event. And if you win something, awesome. If you don't win, you still donate to a great cause. And all those proceeds are going to Interface Sanctuary, which is wonderful. So please read up on that if you're curious about it. And if you want to participate, more power to you. That's awesome. Heck yeah. So yeah. Uh, check out the board one last time there on what our, our findings were. Glenn, can we get a shot over there of the Let's board? Uh, one last shot of the 1500 at 10%. Uh, any day we want know. to point a camera at the sign now, that'd be awesome. There we go. Oh, there great. Go. From across the room with the um, wonderful glare. Okay, so I don't, I don't know what, what is our verdict here, Anthony? Let's read them off the top. Looking at the car, car wash, wash towel, towel first. We had 85% wetness. DMR, we had 85% wetness. We had the, the big one. The big one at 60%, the pluffle at 50%, the twist and shout at 40%. Thank you. The James. twistress at 50% the liquidator at 20%, the gauntlet at 15%, and the 1500 at 10%. Now, if you don't know um, what these numbers mean, these were our ballpark estimates as to how saturated with water the towels were yeah. after one pass of the hood. Yep. 
And that was a non-scientific approach to something kind of scientific. So, right. anyways, we had a ton of fun doing this, guys. No uh, uh, like Dane said, you know, please make sure to subscribe below for more live content. Make sure to check out the Rap Institute live here on August 10th. It's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, and I got nothing else to say. No, that's really it, guys. So, please, we're going to go enjoy lunch. But thank you so much for watching. Click like on this video if you haven't done it yet and you enjoyed what we provided today because we love doing these live stream detailing events. But we got to have people showing up. And fortunately today, there was a good number of people who yeah. did show up. But I want to encourage you. If you know other people who are like interested or curious about detailing but haven't actually dove into the deep end yet, give them a chance. Absolutely. Let them check this stuff out. I think we're friendly. We're accessible enough. We're not going to scare yeah. them away. Might be a little weird. And we might go off on tangents. But that's besides the point. The point here really is we want to educate people. But we want to have fun while we do it. So yep. I hope we gave you that today. Yep. And with all that said... From us here, I want to say thank you. Have a wonderful evening, wonderful day, and we'll catch you for Q&A Thursday tomorrow on this same channel. So don't go too far. Catch you later. See you.